I just am having three pieces of toast. Two of them are the avocado ones I showed you guys how to make and then one piece with butter and apricot jam on top for a little bit of sweetness and then I'm having a cup of coffee. And whilst I'm having my breakfast, I will be catching up on Vlogmas videos. I've been watching them till really late last night because... I mean, I had about 20 videos in my watch later list and now it's 63 and I just cannot keep up with everyone. And then later on I'm gonna open all of the three of my advent calendars. Let's leave Tanya's for last because it's the most exciting one for me. So today's day four. It's this one. What is it? It's a duck? What does it have to do with Christmas? Right here. Hmm. Classic gold bears. That's pretty nice. There's a nail file. What does it say? Think happy thoughts and smile. That's so Tanya because she's always positive and happy and bubbly. Look at it. It's a very pretty nail file. But this side won't file your nail. It's only on this side. Okay, and I have to edit yesterday's Vlogmas. So Vlogmas day three. So I just dried my hair feeling a lot better now. Already I used my Raventa rotating brush. It just makes your hair really sleek and gives a little bit of a shape to it. I just finished my Dove Pure Care Dry Oil. So I'll have to repurchase this because I really like this oil. And, oh by the way, this is uh, my rediscovery. So I got this Chanel Coco Mademoiselle hair perfume maybe five or six years ago. Look, I've used up quite a bit of it. And I completely neglected it, I forgot about it. And maybe a week ago, I was like, oh, I should use it. And I sprayed it on my damp hair before blow drying it. And you guys, my hair smelled like heaven for like two days afterwards. Like I would wake up and I would have this beautiful smell in my hair. Or just when you walk and the wind blows, your hair smells heavenly. And uh, Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle is one of my all-time favorite fragrances, as you can tell, and um, yeah, I just absolutely adore it. So I'm gonna spray it in my dry hair today, and I suppose you could use just the perfume, you don't have to buy the hair fragrance. Well, I'm not sure how different it is to just the perfume. I just got this box delivered, and I have no idea what it is. It's a black box. Where does it come from? What? It's just a black box. Oh, it's from a Lithuanian company, Rasa. Thank you for creating beauty together. That's unexpected. It's an early Christmas present from them. Let's see what they've sent me. <laughs> That's amazing! A bunch of clementines and then... What's that? Oh, it's a clementine scented hand cream. Limited edition by Agnea Gelavicciute. She is one of our like um, public person, socialite, I guess. The real essence of beauty is the confidence to be yourself. That's really cool. I think we don't have any in the house right now, so that's amazing. So now I just sat down um, at my dressing table and I will be doing my makeup. And uh, I will give another chance to this Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation. I have it in uh, number 10, beige. I tried this foundation once and I really didn't like it because it accentuated all of the dry patches on my skin. It didn't sit right, looked very flaky and just really hated this foundation but right now I applied um, the Body Shop's Oils of Life facial oil and then facial cream on top to really nourish my skin and prepare it for foundation so it 
feels really moisturized right now. And I hope that this will help the foundation look better. I will also be using the same Maybelline blusher that I used yesterday because I really love the color. Um, the same eyebrow products, Brow Satin and L'Oreal um, Brow Plumper. And then, oh, I'm gonna use this new highlighter. I got it quite recently. It's the Celestial Powder and Candlelight by Kevin O'Quan. And it's really pretty. I tried it once. The packaging is just so, so beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's just a very pretty gold highlighter. And it's a lot more subtle than um, Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I have the Mary Luminizer, but it's way too much for every day. And this one is much more subtle. So I'm gonna apply this highlighter today. By the way, did you guys know that this is the lipstick that Rosie Huntington Whiteley uses? Clinique Nude Pop Lipstick, which I told you I've been loving this lipstick recently and I saw on her Snapchat that she uses this lipstick. I actually don't use Snapchat. I have my account just so that I could stalk Rosie Huntington Whiteley because she's been posting a lot of pictures with her makeup products, hair products, and I just want to know what she uses. I have to catch up on Vlogmas. I'm gonna watch Max's. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day. Vlogmas Day 2. Let's apply the foundation. Oh, I like how light the color is. It's perfect for my pale skin. So I have to work really quick with this one because it sets quite fast. It looks quite nice this time. It must be the fact that I've moisturized my skin really well in advance. This is a Yiva Silk Finish brush. And most of my brushes that you see me use in my videos are by Zoeva from the Rose Gold collection. Because I just love these brushes. Okay, I'm gonna cover my blemishes in my under eyes right now. Guys, I'm applying my powder and I just had to turn on the camera to tell you how much I've been loving these brushes. I have a set, um, the company is called Firma and these brushes are the softest brushes I've ever felt. They're softer than Zoeva brushes. It's like silk on your face. Oh my god, it's like, it, you know, it's a pleasure applying makeup with brushes that are this soft. It's insane. <laughs> if you are looking for really soft makeup brushes, just so you know, these are incredible. So this is a blusher brush, also like heavenly soft. And I never used to use brushes like that, like duo fiber, I guess you call them. Um, it's kind of like a stippling brush, um, but these are really nice for applying your blusher because the bristles are quite long and like fluffy, so you can apply your blush in a very subtle way. But just Take a little bit of the br blush and just go like that. And this is my new favorite brush to apply blusher with. You can achieve a very, very natural look. And now let's get on with the highlighter. I'm gonna use my Zoeva Lux Face Focus brush. And uh, I'm gonna take this highlighter. Maybe put the camera closer to my face and apply it right here on the tops of my cheekbones. Can you guys see the glow? It's it's very subtle, it's not over the top. It just makes your face glow. And I would say it's a perfect highlighter for everyday wear. Okay, so my makeup is finally done. Um, it's my usual everyday makeup. I just use, it's pretty much like yesterday, um, Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Pink Gold because it's one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows. It's just so pretty and brightening and my all-time favorite mascara which is Lash Sensational. On my lips I applied Nude Pop by Clinique. Hey guys, the weather outside is just insane. It's so, so freaking rainy and so cold. So now I think I'm gonna pop into a grocery shop and go home. These are 50% off. These are 
guys are on sale too. I should get those for my studio. Let's check if they have the new panela, the December's ish. No, it's still not here. Why? I think I'm gonna get these. And these are so beautiful. They're all 30% off now. So these are the ones I'm getting. And this. But look at the snowflake. It's gorgeous too. I think I should get one. Oh, they're all different. Look how pretty my basket looks. I want to get this candle. Because Bose used to release this bi these big ones. Usually I get small ones. They're some of my favorite. They have cranberry and vanilla one. I want to get this one. This is so cute. Look at that. I need to get Christmas bags for two children. Oh my god, look at that one. I kind of want to get this one for Linda. This milk I don't calendar is so cute. But I don't like milk or chocolate, to be honest. I'll have to get this mo move and pick your gourd with passion fruit and raspberries. It's one of my all time favorites. Yes, finally, hummus in Lithuania. Wanted to try it for the longest time. I think I'm gonna come in to get this candle next time. I first have to burn what I have. Self control, people, self control. I wanted to show you guys my outfit because some of you wanted to see what I wear. So I wore my new Benetton coat for the first time today. I have this beautiful cashmere scarf that I got in India. So um, I cannot really link it for you guys or anything. My bag is Michael Kors Mira handbag. It, I think it was a limited edition collection. No one can find this bag online. I got messages from girls saying this bag doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, it probably was a limited edition cooperation with Miroslava Duma. And now underneath my coat, I just have my cream jumper from Reserved which I really really like. It's warm and snug and comfy. have my Forever 21 leggings on because they're my favorite and my new Zara booties are absolutely gorgeous and quite comfy as well. So yeah guys, that's my outfit and I just had a look at my skin in the mirror and my skin is really glowing with this foundation, isn't it? I think it's probably also the highlighter that I use through the center of my nose and my cheeks the skin looks very luminous it doesn't look oily well it's been only a couple of hours and now i'm gonna show you guys what i got food wise and I, well you actually saw everything that i got but i guess i'm gonna do some explaining i got these christmas lights in maxima yesterday let's oh hi louis when i bring home bags louis always makes an appearance so these are just really tiny warm white christmas lights and i feel like my tree needs more of those so um and they're currently 40 percent off in maxima if you're wondering okay so first of all i got two food related products that i've never tried before and i really wanted to so i got myself kale i never tried kale before because we didn't have it in lutania and it's the first time i see it in the rimi not sure how to have it because some people like to roast it in the oven to make it crunchy and some just use um, olive oil and lemon i got italian bread this is not french baguette it's just um italian bread i got this beautiful bag that you saw for uh, my cousin Linda. I just couldn't resist. It's so sparkly and pretty. Uh, what else food wise? And I finally got hummus. I never tried it, never got it when I was in Paris and in Lithuania we also I I was constantly looking for it in all of the supermarkets but I had no luck. 
and uh, yeah I finally found it in the Rumi and I'm so excited I have no idea what hummus tastes like but a lot of people seem to love it and I've been watching Melanie's um, vlogmas videos guys if you're not watching please do Melanie Murphy she's amazing and in her vlogmas day too she was having pita bread with hummus and I had the biggest food craving like the food that she eats is the most delicious and healthy food ever and I always get so hungry watching her videos. I also got my favorite yogurt of all time. This is Move and Pick passion fruit and raspberry. It's so delicious. You have to try it. Okay, and these are the balls. I've decided to change up the color theme of my Christmas decorations in my studio. Um, so now it's kind of like gold bubbles. So I'm gonna bring them home and put them on my Christmas tree in my room and I've decided to go for a silver and white theme I think it will suit the interior of my studio a lot better because it's all like white there I went to this shop called Jalas Totale and it's a gardening shop but I like to buy my Christmas decorations there because they always have very unique ones and uh, they often have really good discounts like 50-75% off so these like gold stars that you see here are from this shop so I got the same stars but in silver I also got these ones but they're just like <sighs> These sparkles are falling all over the place. But this pack was only 94 cents. So that's really inexpensive and they're really pretty. But I think they might be quite messy. So those, um, I got these little stars in Rimi. You saw the gold ones in a previous vlogmas. And then I got this box in Jalas Total as well. These are like muted gold ones, like champagne color. So pretty. And I think these ones are glass. Yeah, these are glass and now I paid only 2 euros 50 for the whole box and they're really pretty. I love this color. These are the ones I got in Rimi. I love these. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And um, I have this gold one on my tree and I got the same one in white for my studio. I got this really pretty snowflake. It looks like it's made of ice and I got these little gold kind of hooks and I saw this stand where they had everything for wild birds and I saw these little cute houses look at that this is multi seed house for wild birds you gotta show birds some love as well <laughs> um, so yeah these are all of the decorations that I got I'm so hungry now oh my stomach is totally empty right Louie you're probably hungry too would you look at that? It's so twinkly and beautiful. Lights make such a big difference, right? Oh, I love it. So that's my food, guys. I tried kale on its own and I really didn't like the taste. It tasted so bad. So I followed the instructions on the pack. So I just roasted it in olive oil with two cloves of garlic and then they said you should add some parmesan cheese on top that's exactly what i did so i think it will taste better it smells really good at least and here i've got some pieces of my italian bread hummus and glass of water with lemon and then this yogurt for dessert and i brought it all <laughs> to my room because i really want to finish editing my vlogma so i'm gonna do that while i'm eating i know it's not the best but it has to be done i like it it's delicious, it's very creamy and nutty. And now I'm gonna give this kale salad a go. It's not bad, it's okay. I think I prefer fresh rocket with olive oil and a lot of lemon and a bit of salt. Um, this is something different, it's good. Gonna light my candles. Once I'm done with those, I'm gonna get this beautiful bolsius one. And I just changed my sheet, so my bed looks really inviting. Louis is playing with my Christmas tree bubbles. Louis! <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so silly. I'm glad he doesn't jump up the tree, but he likes to walk underneath it. I would love to read Harry Potter, but there are so many vlogmases to watch. 
that I don't know which one to prioritize. <laughs> it's really difficult. I hope you guys enjoy this vlogmas and see you tomorrow. Bye! Oh, look at Lee. He's such a cutie pie. So I applied two coats of this nail polish and I don't really like it. I don't think it looks pretty. It just looks strange because it's very sheer and then it has these chunky glittery particles it just doesn't work for me so i think i'm gonna take it off and apply something else